Hey guys, Math Tutorials 14 here, and we're back in another tutorial. And so today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to jailbreak your iPhone, iPad, no, not iPad. Okay, let's start over. iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, and iPad 4th generation with six with uh, iOS 6.1.3. It's going to be a tethered version. So, as you can see, I got my iPod Touch. It's the 4th generation right here. And... Just you can see, just so you can see that this is legit, and I'm not lying about this. Gonna go in the general about, and you can see that it says version six point one point three. So I'm not lying about that. I just want to make sure that you know that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going to go into the link in the description below. It's gonna be the home page. I was just on jailbreaks because I was showing. Um, this wasn't the first time I tried to do this, so, yeah. But anyway, um, you're going to want to, uh, click on the Jailbreaks tab, tab from the home page. Um, and then you're going to see Red Snow. Under Red Snow, it's going to say Red Snow 0 0.9.15 Beta 3. So, obviously, if you're on Mac, click Mac. Obviously, if you're on Windows, click Windows. Um, so it's going to take a little while to download. I think it's in a folder, so... Um, it'll appear in your downloads folder, so just take it out of the folder and place the actual application onto your desktop, because we will need that. Okay, so once that is downloaded, you're, wanna, you're gonna want to go to the firmware tab. Now, listen up, because this is actually really, really important, because this is where most of the mistakes come in here, and this is how people don't know what they're doing. So, people think, you know, because I have iOS 6.1.3, I should probably get the iOS firmware 6.1.3 ISPW, right? I mean, that'll do fine because this is 6.1.3 and I need, you know, I need the 6.1.3 ISPW. Wrong completely because it does not, Red Snow does not support 6.1.3, so it'll say that it's invalid. So, what you have to do is you have to select your supported device. Um, below. So if I was running the iPhone, uh, the iPhone 4, I would, um, I would select it. I would select 6.0. Or if I was running the iPhone 3GS, I would select 6.0. But I'm running the iPod Touch 4th generation, so I would select 6.0. But for the purpose of time in this video, I have already downloaded both of the files. So now that both of them are downloaded, um, you want to double click and open Red Snow if you're on Windows. Um, if you're on Mac, I mean, if you're on, I just completely reversed them. If you're on Mac, you want to double click it. If you're on Windows, you want to right click it and then do run as administrator and that should work. Um, so now what you want to do is there's going to be two options here, jailbreak and extras. Hit extras, select ISPW, and it's going to bring you to either your downloads folder or your external hard drive. Um, since I don't have a lot of memory on my computer, I'm using an external hard drive and I have the ISPW file on here. So you're going to scroll down until you find on um, the iPod whatever that says, restore.ispw, that is the file, and you're going to highlight that and hit open. It's going to say successfully identified. The filing build was identified as that. It will be used for the rest of this Red Snow session. Okay. All right. So now we're going to get hit back, and we're going to hit jailbreak, and then it's going to prepare the um, device. And then after this, you'll get um, options with different check marks here, um, and I'll say select your options for that. Um, so... Also, you want to make sure that Enable Battery Percentage and Install Custom Bundle, both of those are unchecked. Only leave Install City unchecked, because if you, if you check both of these two, if you check all three of them, it will not work. If you check two of them, just, you know, Install Custom Bundle or Enable Battery Percentage and Install City, then it will not work. Only check the box that says Install City. Once again... Only check the box that is that says install Cydia. Okay, just want to make sure that I got that out there. It's finished. Everyone knows it. Okay, so I'm gonna hit next, and it's going to prompt us to to um, turn off our device and enter it into DFU mode. So what you have to do is you have to hit the lock button, hold the lock button down until you see this, which is slide to power off, and we're gonna just simply do what it says and slide slide to power it off. So it's going to um, have a ring right there, and it's going to power it off. Once it's powered off, the next button becomes clickable, and we are going to follow the instructions on the screen to enter this into DFU mode. So, three, two, one, and nine, eight, seven, six. 
five, four, three, two, one. 14 and it usually queues in in around eight seconds so um now it should probably if i did it right and there we go waiting for exploiting with limera 1n uh, it's going to say please wait while your build is being processed if you do everything right it should say waiting for reboot of uh, uploading first stage uploading second stage and then it should say waiting for reboot and it should come up with this um it should come up with saying downloading jailbreak data you can see that, and then it'll have a bunch of, if you get this, a bunch of, um, a black screen which with a bunch of white text going down, that's 100% okay. You actually want that to happen, because it's, it's transferring the jailbroken files from your computer onto your iPad, or not iPad, iPod, or whatever you're jailbreaking. So, you want to make sure that you actually do get to the screen. Once you get to the screen, um, if you get past the screen, there will be a, um, a pineapple, that looks like it's running, I think. And it'll say, like, running applications, and it'll do a lot. So this takes um, a little while. It's going to do a few things. You can see. I don't know if you can see mine. But, yeah, I'm, try I'm trying to do the best I can with doing that. Okay, so there is the, G the, there is the pineapple, and it says moving applications. We can go ahead and move our finger off of the power button. And it's basically done now. Um, so there is the pineapple. Right there. I'm just gonna. Okay, so it says there's the pineapple that looks like it's running. It says moving applications. Um, when you boot, when it boots up, just to tell you, so you're not panicking and freaking out, because this is 100% okay because it is the tethered version. Um, so when you boot up the device, it will not have city on it. It will be just regular. You will not have any jailbroken parts except for the files that just ran on there. So what you have to do is you have to go into just boot and I will show you I will show you that. So um yeah guys, as soon as it says as soon as it's done with uh, you know moving the applications and everything, um yeah, I will be back up in a little bit. So talk to you guys soon. All right guys, so we are back and as you can see, um I got a nice little Apple logo there and it is booting up. Um once again, um just so you know, I already told you this before, you know, the break. But just as you know, um, it will not have City on there the first time you boot it up. And I will show you that just to tell you that it will not have City. It will not. It will not have City until you go into Just Boot because it's a tethered device. So, alright. If you haven't figured it out, I will put it in the title, but it, it is the tethered um, jailbreak. It is not untethered. It is tethered. So, um, you might have... Since there's jailbreaking on it already, you might have like trouble like sliding it to unlock, but just um lock it a few times and then it should correct it. Um as you can see, all the normal apps on are on there and Cydia is not hold on. Sorry. And Cydia is not on here as of right now. So what you have to do now is you have to go back and you have to turn off your device again. Now, I'm going to show you something because I know this will happen. Um, you'll get an error saying, um, if you enter this into DFU mode too early, I mean, if you enter this into DFU mode with the screen, with that screen, um, it'll say, um, I forget what it'll say, but it won't say the, um, the right thing. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to actually, we'll hit back on our red snow, we're going to hit quit. And we'll hit, and we'll double click Red Snow again. Extras, select ISPW, and we are not gonna. That's just a Facebook request because I have Facebook on here. All right, so okay, we're gonna hit OK, and we're gonna hit back on our Red Snow, and um, we're actually going to before we hit just boot, we're going to so that this doesn't happen. Hold on, guys. So that this doesn't happen, we're going to boot um into. We're going to boot into DFU mode before we get to that screen, so it will it won't prompt us for that. So three, two, one. Okay. So we have just booted our device into DFU mode, and we're going to hit just boot. Make sure that that doesn't happen. It's going to like exploring. 
Um, hopefully the error will not happen because I booted it um, into DFU mode before. Exploit failed. Wonder why that didn't work. Um, maybe I guess that's because we already have it in DFU mode. That's probably why. All right, so I'll come back up with it, and I'll I will be right back. Okay, so that didn't work. So I think I'm just gonna I might leave that there. I might cut it out, but we're just gonna do what I've been doing before. Um, we will go into just boot that way. So we're going to hit just boot. It's gonna prompt us to turn it our device off and enter it into DFU mode. Once it senses that it's off, the next the next button becomes clickable. We're gonna click it, and we're gonna enter DFU mode. So. Three, two, one. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Eighteen, eleven. Oh, great. I put it in the recovery mode instead. Oh, great. Okay. I'll be right back. I don't have to, um, I don't have to restore it or anything. But I just have to reboot it, so I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back, and I um I didn't have to restore it, but um oh my god, so many annoying Facebook requests. Anyway, um so we're gonna hit next on a red snow, and I'm going to count down. Um, and I'm not gonna be focused on the video right now. I'm gonna be focused on seeing the countdown so that I can get this right this time. So. And hopefully it'll stop around 8 seconds if I did it right. 9, 8, and I did do it right. So it's going to say splitting with Limero 1N. And it will probably say rebooting. And then it will probably give me that error. So then I know what to do from there if it does that. So let's just see if it does that though. I'm not really sure if it'll do it. Let's see. It normally does it all the other times. But we'll see. Oh, and it didn't do that. So you get, if you do it right, you get that nice little, um pineapple there and it'll reboot and it'll give you right here let's just make sure that you can see it there is the pineapple logo hold it like that and then I'll zoom in and that's the pineapple logo indicating that you have jailbreak on your device and Cydia is getting installed on there um so once it reboots I will go on there and I will show you guys Cydia so I will be right back. Alright guys, so I'm back and it's pretty funny actually because the second after I hit the pause button, it booted up. So we're going to go ahead and, um, okay, we're going to go ahead and unlock this and as you see, BAM! There's Cydia! It was that easy. There is Cydia. Um, so guys, make sure you rate, like, comment, and subscribe to this video, um, to make sure to make sure to tell you that this is not, um, that this is not, you know, faulty. Uh, it says, who are you? Right there. I'm going to use, I'm going to say user because I'm not a hacker or a developer. So I'm going to say user. And there is the real Cydia. So that is how to jailbreak your device, version 6.1.3. Also, hop over to my friend's channel, Poop Eater, because he's going to be doing, um, an iOS, um, jailbreak 6.0. To 6.1.2. So make sure you, um, I'll make an annotation to that. So make sure you go to his video. So that's it for this video, guys. Make sure you rate, like, comment, and subscribe. And also look out for my top 10 Cydia tweaks because I will be doing that. So make sure you rate, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.